Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we are going to explain the new feature of Windows 10 that they are actually for the first time using uh, with a little problem that was in the last patch Tuesday and is kind of interesting. So Microsoft has a new feature called Non-Issue Rollback. This is new in Windows 10 and it's being used for the first time with a bug that has gamers going crazy with the last patch Tuesday. How does it work and what it is is interesting. Um, hopefully, if used well, this could actually change a lot. It's going to could be a game changer in how Microsoft actually deals with problems with Windows updates. So what happens is Microsoft will issue, for example, a patch Tuesday security update or will issue some bug fixing updates and they install on machines. Now, if a report gets back about a bug in one of the updates for a certain amount of people, for example, because usually the bugs don't affect everybody, they affect just a subset of people. Uh, what's going to happen is that they will actually diagnose what's happening and what code is causing the problem. And when that is examined, every time your computer goes to Windows Update to check for updates, there's a, you know, your computer sends diagnostics data through Windows 10. So they know that your computer might be one of the computers affected by it, or in some cases, if everybody could be at risk, then they'll know that. They know that you have it installed. And that will actually simply send some data to the computer saying, okay, this is the code that has a problem. Just ignore this code temporarily. That means that, for example, today, the problem with the frame rate that gamers have been reporting, they are not removing the problem. They're just taking the code that causes the problem and telling Windows, don't use that code for now it's causing issues so Windows just ignores that and in effect if it was a blue screen if it was a problem that you had this stops the problem from happening all of that without having to install any new update so this is quite cool because that means they could if there's a major issue very rapidly react and say okay this code we're just gonna ignore it for now that could be a game changer in future updates because that means Microsoft now has more flexibility uh, before you had to always have a cumulative update to fix the bad cumulative update. Not anymore. Well, yes, but not to prevent the problem from happening. Just a little setting data sent to your PC and everything's working again. What happens is that that code is still there, but it's just you know it's sleeping it's not being used by Windows and it's temporary which means that this method will react on the code only for a month or two but that usually is enough for Microsoft to issue a fix so that means that today what happened is everybody that had the problem had that code disabled on their PC technically your frame rates in the game should be back to normal next patch Tuesday or next time there's a bug fixing update that will replace this code with new code that fixes that problem so in effect that code is still going to be there but it's going to be fixed and the next update but this gives them temporarily a time to fix the code and have you um, use your PC back to normal which is kind of nice so this is brand new and this is going to be something to look at and how they're going to use it in the future with Microsoft because this is really, really interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.